Hi there. Now, for part C of this question, we've got to find the probability that a customer will queue for longer than three minutes. And to do this, all we do is we turn to the commutative distribution function, f of t. Remember, f of t just gives us the probability of being less than or equal to some given value of t. In other words, that's represented by this area here. Just put that back in here. f of t is equal to the probability of t being less than or equal to some given value of t. So if we're looking for the probability that someone queues for longer than three minutes, if I take t to be three, then it's represented by the area to the right. So all I've got to do, knowing that the whole area is one, just do 1 minus f of 3, the probability of being less than 3. OK, so that's where we're going with this. So to answer this, then we've got the probability of t being greater than 3. That's going to be equal to 1 minus, then, the probability of t being less than 3. And that's going to be 1 minus f of 3. And we take this value here, because 3 is in this interval, and we see that that's going to be 1 minus, and then we've got, when t equals 3 here, we've got 3 over 6, 3 sixths, and then minus 3 cubed over 1,458. So 3 cubed then over 1,458. Work that out on your calculator and you should find you get the exact fraction 14 over 27. And if you write that as a decimal, it's 0 0.5185 and so on. Okay, so to three significant figures, that's going to be 0 0.519 to 3SF for short. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea on that one.